Hey guys, Steve Harris here with Museums.com. For today's quick tip, we're going to run through how to use custom HTML in widget panels. So you're probably asking yourself, why do I even need to know this? And the reason is because when we build a widget, we can build so many options into it that the panels of thin Muse get absolutely massive. So at some point, we have to draw the line and cap your ability to edit various elements. With a little bit of custom HTML, you have better control over the way things display within a widget. Most users don't know that they can actually use HTML in many of the description and content boxes within our widgets, but you can, and it's quite simple to do. So to get started, let me show you a demo of a widget. This is our rapid reveal widget. So you click on any of these boxes, it opens up a little panel below and you have title text, description content and some buttons. So let's say I wanted to go ahead and put in a big description in one of these. I'll put it in the first panel here. So let's go back to Muse. I'm going to open up the widget panel and I have images and content one. So the description for our first box is right here. So let me go ahead and grab my content. It's all of this lorem ipsum. And let's say I want to just copy and paste that into that box. Okay, perfect. So I'll go ahead and preview the widget just to see how it looks with that in. Okay, I open up the box. Okay, it's a giant wall of text. It looks terrible. So I'd like to go ahead and put some line breaks in this. Well, you might try and do this within Muse. So you'll open up the panel and you'll put your cursor where you want to break, let's say after that period, and hit enter. And it doesn't do anything because enter is not the right key for that there. So we could try doing, let's say, shift enter to add a break. That doesn't work either. So we think, okay, let's go into our text editor and let's add some breaks before we paste it in. So I'll add some breaks there and some breaks there. So we've got some nice breaks and I'll copy that new one and let me paste it back into the box here. Perfect, okay, our breaks are in. You can see that they're there in the panel and let's preview this in the browser. When I open this up, same thing, we have this giant wall of text. So clearly this is not working and it's because of the way Muse is interpreting that content. It's just stripping any sort of formatting out of it. It needs very specific instructions. And the way that you can do that is with some simple HTML. So if you go on the web, there's some reference guides. You can find these everywhere, but this one is just an HTML cheat sheet. And what it's going to show you is how to wrap elements in small tags to control them better or style them better. So for example, here's one that says common tags for blogs. And it says if we were to wrap something in these B tags, so it's basically this B and then the following is a closing B tag, it's going to make that text bold. If we look down below, here's one that says break. So this forces a new line. So let's copy this break tag just like that. And I'm going to jump back to my text editor and I'm going to put two of these in there just like this. Perfect. So what this is going to do is break once so it will be right below and then break again so we have a little bit of a gap in between. So let's copy that now. Let's paste that into the panel in Muse. Okay, let me just make sure those tags are there. Yep, I can see the two break tags. Let's preview this in the browser. Open it up. There you go. As you can see, now we have these three paragraphs and the breaks are showing up properly. So let's look back at the cheat sheet and see what else we can do. We could do bolding, for example. That's very simple. Let's just grab one of these bold tags. And let's say I want to bold, oh, maybe the first paragraph or even a first couple words in the first paragraph. So let's paste that bold tag in there and then let's decide where we're going to close it. So I'm going to close it after this period. So I'm pasting it, but I'm going to make sure this is the closing tag. It just has a slash there. You'll see that on the HTML cheat sheet. That's the way this is structured. So I've added that into that section. Let's go ahead and preview it in the browser. And when I open it up, there you go. You can see our first line is bolded. So it's a little bit tough to work within that tiny panel. So what you may want to do is use your text editor first, where you have some room to breathe here, and go ahead and format all of your text ahead of time before you drop it into the panel. So we could do things like bulleted lists, um, we could add line breaks, we can add, this one is a horizontal rule or a horizontal line, so let's copy that. Let's open this up in our text editor. I'm going to put one of these horizontal lines in between these line breaks, just like that. I'll do this again there. Okay, let's add one other thing. Let's italicize something. So italics is right here. I'll copy that. Let's italicize maybe the second paragraph. So there's the italics tag. Let's close it here. Okay, perfect. And I'll copy and paste this new one into my panel. 
Okay, let me highlight this, paste that in, hit enter, give it a preview in the browser. When I open it up, there you go. So we have we have the breaks, we have the horizontal rules that we've added, we have the italicized text in the center. So there is a lot of styling that you can do beyond what's provided in the panel just by using something as simple as this HTML cheat sheet. Now, I know the purpose of Muse is to not use any code. And the reality is, is I'm not a coder myself, but I know just enough code to make Muse a little more powerful. And with reference guides like this, you don't even need to remember the code. You can just simply link or look it up, figure out what you want to do, and you can achieve that very easily. The last thing that I'll say with using custom HTML in widgets is that it's not something you want to go too crazy with. Now, simple formatting and breaks and that sort of thing, really doable. But I wouldn't try and overhaul the entire widget using a ton of custom code. There's a good chance you'll have some compatibility issues and some widgets just do not accept custom HTML in the same way. So enjoy, have fun experimenting, and I hope you enjoyed this quick tip. Cheers.